Hi folks, my name is Jonathan Power. I'm recording here from a lovely sunny day in Ireland and I'm going to be talking about the Pods Beaver Builder Seamer add-on for providing a user interface for mapping field connections with uh, pods. So I'll set up a, a pod there and we'll talk through how it works with Beaver Seamer. Oh, of course, you need the uh, the pods uh, Beaver Builder theme or add-on isn't on the WordPress repository yet. So if you do a Google search for it, it's on GitHub and you download it there. Along with uh, those uh, plugins, I'm obviously using the Beaver Builder theme. So click add new and we're going to create a new custom post type first. Say we're hypothetically designing a website for a garage that sells cars and uh, we want to create a custom post then for the client to uh, publish his cars for, cars for sale. So we'll just give it a, a label there. And it then appears in the menu. We can actually even change the icon here, but I'm just uh, going to quickly go, go through this. So we'll add a field, say, name, name of car, uh, description, name of car, say, name, name of car. It'll be, it will be required. It'll be a text field, obviously. It'll be Mazda, Toyota, whatever, Ford. You have several different types of fields here. Say if you select the phone field, that it'll ask you the type of format, etc. They actually advise uh, if you're using the phone uh, for, uh, field there, Type, field type that um, no validation and everything because some people might have unusual phone numbers and then it won't accept it so but for this we just need a plain text field and we'll we'll add that we'll add another field name of car say the model 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 of car it's x and then we need a uh, we'll say the year year description uh, year of manual fct year of manufacture and then it'll be a number plain plain number obviously advanced fields in the type of notice fault. I've only started to learn this myself, so I'm still figuring stuff out as well. Well, that w will be required. Now we can, don't forget to save the pod over here, otherwise it won't be updated. The admin user interface. Ah, uh, here's what I want. We won't, we, in, when we go to uh, create our custom posts, uh, we won't need the title or the editor. We'll go there now and explain that. Name of car, model. Oh. Name of car, model, no. The year is not here. Year of year of uh, menu, FACT, year of manufacture. For, um, oh, forgot to save it. Year. Year of manufacture. It'll be the same. Control C. Just there. Um, it's a plain number. It's required. Add. 
There we go. Save it now. When we go over, we'll create our custom post now. As you can see, the admin is totally different. We've no categories here and our, our editor is not there. We don't need it, so it's a lovely, simple uh, interface for your client. It doesn't look confusing at all. So we'll go forward, Mustang 1966 or something. And we'll publish that. Now, because we've no field connections set up yet, when we, when we open this page, there's nothing there. Uh, the auto draft uh, um that yet because we, we haven't created the template in beaver themer for for this custom post so we want to set up the field connections now so we'll go over to theme layouts add new we'll call it car temp template it'll be uh, a theme layout and it'll be singular post and then you want to select it here and all cars there I'll just get rid of some of this stuff so we have our header and all here Now, so we're creating the template. We'll <coughs> oh, we'll have a we'll have a heading, and it'll be the pods. It'll be right at the bottom, and then it makes it very handy. You don't have to if you end up with a load lots of different fields. You don't have to remember them. It it, it auto populates here, so you have loads of different things you can select there and so obviously the headline will be the name of the car there save um you can see it coming up already so save and that's that's my headline add more content say it'll be just text Pods field, the model, it should also populate. Yeah. Ah, yeah, good, it's working. Um, <coughs> and we just select our field again. We go to pods field display and it'll be the last one now year of manufacture save save there oh there's actually a comma after coming up in the year there so it must be the formatting of the pod is uh, incorrect We're just going back to edit the pod now. Um, year of manufacture. It must be. I wonder. Oh, it'd be a date actually. It wouldn't be. date and time date yeah and then the format just a year like that so good to make a mistake there actually and just to show the way it can be formatted differently so when we refresh yep yeah, the template is now being applied to our custom post there and we could have images and lots of different stuff so 
there's quite a bit in it it's very interesting so if we go over to cars here add new we'll say um fiat oh fiat uno years 1994 there was lots of them around oh they actually give us a, a date picker excellent so publish that and then our templates being applied you know so also draft so that's our custom post is created here and we set up the field connections then for that so you could use them um, you could hard code or use a plugin like at minimize and then the client won't have things like settings tools users plugins hide all those uh, menu item things and you, you have a lovely simple uh, interface then you know so it's it's brilliant stuff